time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock God Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. We have the man from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, Doug Kern. And he's right here sitting with us. The tackle guru himself is going to tell us all about what's going on right now, so you stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Cook Up on the Let's Talk Cook Up app and radio network. Hey, San Diego. The Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. Visit your San Diego County Ford dealers now and make it your best summer yet. Amazing offers and great selection of Ford vehicles, like the Built Wild Bronco family, with a deal you just can't miss. Your biggest adventures are awaiting. Make it Ford. Make it yours. Make it now. Only at your San Diego County Ford dealers, they'll be glad to hook you up. Let's talk candidly about long-range fishing. This is Captain Frank Depressi of the Royal Polaris and the Shogun. Nowhere on earth will you find a fleet of long-range boats like we have in San Diego. We are fortunate to have several top-notch operations to take you to the most productive fishing grounds in the world. We all offer good food, comfortable staterooms, huge bait capacity, and top-of-the-line fish-finding electronics. So why would you choose the Royal Polaris or the Shogun for your next long-range trip? What sets us apart from the rest? It's pretty simple. The boats, the crew, and the service. From the moment you arrive at Fisherman's Landing, the service begins. We help you load your gear and do everything possible to get beginners or seasoned veterans ready to catch fish. When it's time to fish, the Royal Polaris and the Shogun have the edge there, too. Delivering the two best fishing platforms in the fleet. But don't take my word for it. Come fishing with us. If you want the best, it's Royal Polaris and the Shogun. For more information... Call 619-226-8030 or on the web at RoyalPlayersSportFishing.com or ShogunSportFishing.com. The lighter the bite and the cleaner the water means one thing. We need a thinner leader for more natural presentations. That's where Seaguar Gold Label Leader Material shines. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates on leader-shy fish. With exceptional knot and tinsel strength, this advanced leader material is now available from two-pound test for fish trout in the Sierra to 80-pound test for Big Yellowfin in Guadalupe. Get Seaguar Gold Label at your favorite tackle dealer or learn more at Seaguar.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. Today's one of those best behavior days, man. Both bosses in time. Yeah, sure man. Uh, All right. Don't say anything wrong. Nice and chipper. You know, yeah. all good to go. Yeah, like yeah. you have a problem with that. <laughs> yeah. Morning, boys. Yeah, what a fun morning. day today is going to be. Yeah, was, it's going to be fun. I love it's, having it's Doug in here. Midsummer. Well, actually, it's. I mean, it's kind of midsummer it's for mid-season. Southern California. It's there you mid-season. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of tailing off summer for most of the country, but for here, it's just getting better. Yeah. Oh my God. It's some, so beautiful this summer. Yeah. Some of our crew, who we have the best crew in the whole world, and some of the crew you got to see the only time I've ever seen oh. like a mopey face ever was this last week. Six mopey faces. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that had to go back to school. Yep. Yeah, I mean, just, oh. we, we had a crew this year that took the most advantage of being in college and working in a fishing tackle place you could be. I mean, just going absolutely twice a week, all the time, every day, and Let's go back to school week and like it was the only time I've ever seen those guys somber ever. You know what I mean? They're so yeah. pumped every day that uh but you know what that means? A little bit lesser crowds on the boat. We're yeah. into that mid just biting big fish time. We like, had one signed up for school online and he bailed. And there's part of me that thinks he didn't want it to end. <laughs> I, I mean I'm serious. Like he was all set telling me his schedule and and then um you know we, He's, you know, I said, well, what time can you work next week? He said, well, I can work any time. I said, well, I thought you had school. Yeah, I kind of, kind of went away from that. <laughs> kind of went away from <laughs> that because he's one of our more, you know, take advantage of going fishing all the time guys. So, yeah, I don't know. We might be responsible for the. 
<laughs> from the dropping drop out, out? Right. Yeah, I don't know. maybe a semester break you know yeah, we'll go back when the bluefin are bites exactly yeah, watch that <laughs> i'll do winter yeah but uh good fishing right now right doug it's just been such good interesting fun fishing i mean as you know we started the season we had pretty horrible weather a lot of rain wind couldn't get the ball rolling you know you get out on a weekend if it's you know maybe one nice day or something but once it got up and running i mean we've had every kind of every size tuna that you could ask for and uh, right now um, it's been a mixture of that stuff out at the tanner and a little bit of the cortez and in that zone out behind you know the islands um, you know 20 to call it 50 pound fish i know of a guy that got a 60 pounder so technically you know 20 to 60 wow fun school type fishing you anchor up the chum the fish come up you know you pick a good bait get it out there you know try make sure you hook it you know the way that they're responding to the best nose hook butt hook whatever and um good yellowtail fishing um I've been going out watching the the weigh-ins on the yellowtail, and they're pretty much all of them are over 20 pounds and up to mid 30s, kind of the average Some giant 25 yellow. Yeah, really pound nice. yellow. Just beautiful. And is that gray. all nighttime? That that's the night. You know, like there's dropper definitely loop been kind of some stuff. dropper loop kind of stuff, but there's been yo-yo fishing, there's been uh, dropper loop fishing, that kind of stuff. And but then you know you look at the Pacific Dawn comes in yesterday with 20 fish from 120 to 170. That you know the big boys are they kind of took about a week off and. And you know we can we can tell based on what we're selling a little bit because we have to keep up on what the fish are doing and you know it was all knife jigs and tuna bombs and 200 pound leader and all the heavy gear and then it switched over to you know like your 30 pound rig and you know eight 12 16 ounce sinkers and and the you know stuff for catching schoolie you know we call them schoolies schoolie used oh, yeah, to be totally. a 10 pounder <laughs> exactly right <laughs> now it's a 40 pounder. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. And, um, and then and then uh, Coronado Islands. How well, about that? The, the beat goes on there. The Coronado Islands. We've had two months of it now. It's the first time we've seen this good of fishing in a long, long time. Um, the, you know, they kind of just showed up in the middle grounds, and there's been fish in the middle grounds for two months, but now it's all expanded out. Um, the weather side of North has fish. The rock pile is on fire. Um, South Kelp Ridge, the flats. Uh, there's bluefin mixing in uh, where, you know, some guys are getting them good. Um, and, uh, and this is it the Coronado Islands. It, it is. And then 15 miles. I know. From home. You know, yeah, and I know cool. there's, there's You're been talking about yellowtail and bluefin. Yeah. Like. And there's been weird stuff. And, you know, it was crazy, you know, almost annoying barracuda fishing. The bass fishing, it's just the incidental catch, the bass. You're going to catch, you know, your dozen bass. Or if you try, you know, you get kind of all you want some days. Um, but then there's been some weird stuff off and on over the years. And, you know, trigger fish have kind of come in and the booby birds and, and now they caught Popeye Catalupa, Popeye Catalupa yeah. on, on the Liberty. So, um, you know, weird things are happening. And then some of this yellowfin is trying to show up. Um, the long range fleet down below is having the most ridiculous. Uh, 40 to 60 pound yellowfin fishing on like giant chovy bait balls and all you see driving around now are giant brown spots of anchovies and whatever finds us is going to be here for a long time you gotta hope we've been you know waiting on the dorado there's there's some dorado around but we haven't got like the crazy kelp patty fishing the conditions sure got right for that yellowfin in Dorado oh. this you know this this last week or so. I mean like yes. everywhere you go in that local offshore banks, you know the spots that we would hope to see and hope to have them it's 73, 74, 75 degrees and purple purple and blue. I can't describe the color of the water. It's I mean it's even like a little beyond we used to call purple. It's it's like and then people would say gin clear. It almost looks like what comes out of your faucet at home. It's it's like clear clear. <laughs> it's it, it's and that's at the Coronado Islands too. It's not like this is offshore and some you know uh, and the water temperatures are. I took a look last night on on Terrafin. Outside it's cooler and then you get to the, like the 302 and the ridge and those banks and it's about 70. And then there's just this big orange glob around San Diego and L.A., and it gets up to 76. Um, Woo! The, you know, and the other thing that's moved in, we haven't seen good striped marlin fishing in a while. And, oh, man. Um, I mean, there's guys that are getting multiple, multiple, multiples. Um, 
on like the nine mile bank. Quadruple quin and I'm not exaggerating, quad quadruple and quintuple hookups wow. on Stripe Marlin. You don't get them all because they just start flopping around out there and <laughs> they fall off and get tangled and you know, maybe you get tangled with another boat, which happened to one of our guys. Um, but <coughs> you, I mean, you wouldn't be surprised about anything if those bigger yellowfin showed up, it would be expected. If the Dorado showed up, but if I mean, if a Wahoo was caught, I wouldn't be at all surprised. This is, uh, you know, the only thing that would tell me that's maybe not going to happen is at least south, the, the closest ones are Laos Rocks. But you know, who knows if that stuff comes in from the outside? You yeah. know, I'm. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. God, good stuff. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Good, dude, right? So you must be selling tackle. Oh, yeah. Then there's that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do, remember? You know what, though? Wait, before we do finish that, and we, we kind of said the same thing last time, is, you know, big tuna and all that stuff gets the highlight. The, the other thing that, that we talked about last week, and boy, it bit all the way through the week, is the half day fishing. My it's goodness. So oh, good yeah. On the Dolphin and over in Mission Bay, and I mean, everywhere. I mean, it's just. It's half day Dorado. Dude, it is. It's been hanging in there. Like, we get, normally in June, we get the bass spawn, and it goes for about two weeks, which it did. Okay, that was normal. And then, you know, there's a few lingering on. And this is both in Point Loma and La Jolla. And then uh, you, you kind of get a lull. And then maybe, if you're lucky, you get that killer sand bass bite. Well, we had that. So, okay, July, we got the, the good sand bass bite, like 220, you know, for X amount of people, limits, limits, limits. and <clears throat> But then the calicos kind of fired back up, and they haven't stopped. Yeah. And and so they're getting that. And then you start mixing in white sea bass and yellowtail like a couple of weeks ago, which does happen. But in Point Loma, it's not as common as in La Jolla. La Jolla, you get your yellowtail, um, you get your white sea bass. But they had 13 released. No, they, I think it was, yeah, 13 released and three legals one day on the, on the white sea bass. Um, they've had, you know, you're not getting limits of yellowtail, but I mean, you got a legitimate shot at it's catching totally. a yellowtail on the half day boat, you know, the dolphin in Point Loma. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, so fun. It's pretty good stuff. And so, what are people buying to, to catch these? Or let's first off talk about the day and a half plus trips that are fishing Cortez and uh, the offshore banks. It, honestly, we have to keep our game up in the shop because it changes so fast and we pride ourselves and take it super serious you got to outfit the guy with the right stuff because a lot of these guys are coming from all over the place i mean northern california and arizona and las vegas and denver and and um you know they don't necessarily have all their gear and then you've got the hardcore guys in southern california that come with like everything but they still may not have something that you know has been proven to, to be working right now but um, for, you know, like I said, for the school-sized uh, fish, you just want to have a little variety of hooks. You know, want to have something to fly line with and, and to dropper loop with. So just some live bait hooks. Um, you know, some people for yellowtail kind of gravitate towards the J hooks, so you might want to have a size, you know, 2 or 3-0 for, uh, you know, for a sardine dropper loop. Even, you know, you can get away with a bigger hook than that. And then your circle hooks for the blue fin. And, again, you matching what is going on but also trying to be prepared for what might be going on right. because four days ago we were kind of outfitting most people for that school size fish out of the tanner you know um live bait fishing maybe a, a current sniper or other dart style jig um you know um uh maybe take a one knife jig in the three or four hundred range so you can drop down if you did find the big ones and then all of a sudden these boats start getting into the 120 to 170s again Jeez. so now just literally i mean we hear the call on the radio and it's like oh shoot we got to pivot you know yeah. <laughs> uh so then um so we just keep up on what's going on um but you know guys should be prepared anytime they come to san diego over the last several years to have a rail rod, a 100-pound spectra that you can fish a knife jig, a tuna bomb, um, and then like a 60-pound outfit for, you know, some live bait, um, a dropper-type rig, you know, a sinker rig for live bait, a 40-pound test, you know, still in the two-speed realm, um, which kind of is considered your light gear now. But then for the paddy fishing, there's no reason to go less than 30, but, you know, 25 or 30 is what guys typically use. And, um, so if you have those four outfits 
and then you have the appropriate terminal tackle to target all those things that are going on, you might get, you know, yellowtail 10 to 40 pounds. You might get tuna 20 to 50 and then over 100. So you've got to be prepared for all that. And, it you know, so the guys, they'll, they'll usually just come in the shop. You know, everybody likes to get down here early. Go to, you know, one of the great restaurants, you know, I mean, we've got such good things that we can do there. So they walk the dock and go to Point Loma Seafoods, Pizza Nova, whatever, Mitch's Seafoods. Um, And then, uh, you know, it gives them time to maybe see the boats come in, talk to the crews, what's, you know, what was working, what, you know, what's going on. Then they come in the shop and we outfit them. And a lot of, you know, guys will get new line and that kind of thing. So the first thing we always tell them, come in the shop, drop off your line. Then, you know, if you want to go get something to eat, you know, we'll knock it out for you. That line spooling machine you have is always going, it seems like. (laughs) You don't even know. You have two, right? Well, we have three. Three. And then we've got more in the rental department for all the rental rods. Um, And we've got a tremendous engineer, mechanic, wizard, call him whatever you want, that has kept those things running. Some of these machines, um, I mean, they're 30 years old, and... They fill, I don't know, we can fill, you know, well over 100 reels in a day. Jeez. Yeah. And it happens okay. every day. <laughs> yeah. 100 a day. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it. So you guys know how to do it. We know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. Whether it be uh, putting Power Pro on or mono or whatever, doing top shots. Yeah, and splices. And, I mean, yeah. there's, you know, the basic the basic thing that we get, a guy brings in six or eight reels and he wants just new top shots on. Or he wants, you know, maybe this one, the, the Spectre got messed up, so he wants to put some more Power Pro on there or whatever. But, yeah. um, you know, some guys want to splice in, you know, they... They got cut off on a fish, and they only have half their specter left, so let's top it up. Some guys want to put on the new uh, multicolored lines that is invaluable now for this deeper fishing. So we take off maybe, you know, half a spool uh, so you don't have to buy a whole spool of line, splice in the, the new uh, colored line, that kind of oh, thing. Oh, nice. There's so how do you splice it? So when you what knot are you using if you're splicing into spectra and you're putting on the solid... Um, like depth hunter offshore. I like um, the 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 double loop kind of deal. So you can either hollow line, you can make a loop, or you can tie a bimini, and then you do a cat's paw. They call it, but um, okay. it's a very simple knot, really. Um, but um, so if you're going solid to solid, you do a bimini twist on both sides and yeah. then loop to loop. And you know. Fortunately, most people trust us, but that is like a hundred percent knot. Um, but you have a little tiny knot that goes through your guys, and it kind of freaks you out. It's yeah. like you know we're used to being connected on a single piece of line, <laughs> right. but but it I mean it's it's golden for proof. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. Better than uh, so how much how much depth tunnel will you put on? Will you put hundred yards or? Um, I mean, uh, you know, a little more than that. If if you figure that the deeper fishing that you're going to do is three to four hundred feet. Um, so maybe you put, you know, at least 200 yards, 200 I would say. Yards. There's going to be some scope. Exactly. You might lose yeah. a little bit from the top for whatever right. reason. Um, so 200 to 300 yards is kind of customary. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, are you selling those new Talica A's? Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh have them in stock? Those have been so well received. <laughs> yeah. They nailed it. The 20 and 25? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's, I love the 12 and the 16. I, I, I mean, I, it's so cool. Oh, my gosh. I, I do, too, yeah. and I think the 12 and the 16 was a great reel, and it was the perfect one to start with, and it has so many applications. And, and no doubt the new 12 and 16 are a better version than the previous. But I think the 20 and the 25 are a much bigger jump uh, in terms of, you know, differences and things they changed around a little bit. And they're, they are, they nailed it. I, mean, they I wonder if they're going to do an 8 and a 10 in the A. They're, they are. They've they already, are. They already said as much. Oh, I mean, okay. I don't know when they'll come, but um, yes. Yeah. I love, I love it when somebody's not on the Shimano payroll that knows stuff. You know, yeah, like, he knows you know the inside. That, you know how hard that would have been to get out of town? Well, you know, <laughs> it's hard to say. Meanwhile, Seasons probably has them on the boat. Yeah, you know, testing right, right now. And yet they're like, oh, well, we can't really say yeah. for sure. I mean, maybe in ICAST we might be able to let you know a little something, but that's about it. Yeah. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for the day. The tackle gurus, I should say, are here because Ricky and, and Doug worked side-by-side uh, talking fishing. Uh, I don't know if you saw the brand-new edition, if you're looking 
looking at us on Facebook Live or YouTube Live. We have the big screen in the back with uh, yeah. uh, featuring all of our sponsors, or a lot of our sponsors. I haven't gotten all the logos in there yet, but we're working on it. But uh, the big screen uh, thanking our, our great sponsors that keep us on the air here. So uh, a new addition to the world headquarters. And here. more coming, man. This has been really yeah. fun. It's been, it uh, really is cool. You know, the, the, the change <laughs> has brought so many fun things along. And, yeah. and uh, man, I can't tell you how many people, Pete, over the week it came in, have come into the tackle store and talked about how much they love the video component of it. Right. I watch on Facebook or I like, you know, I like Facebook Live or I've been watching on YouTube. So yeah. very, very positive feedback thus far. Great. On, That's on, good on to hear. One. Yeah, for sure. Well, as you can hear, like Pete said, we've just got such a fun show. It's always such a great time having Doug in here. And, man, there just isn't a person that we get to talk to that knows the tackle for our type of fishing like Doug Kern. It's going to be a lot of fun this morning. So much great info coming your way. And, man, if you want to join us, we want to hear from you. Give us a call this morning at 213-432-1090. Again, 213-432-1090 is how you reach on the phones. Or send us a text. Man, can't say it enough. The Let's Talk Hookup app, it's so important, especially with all the changes and things that are happening. Pete has always said it. You will always hear Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app. We are so stoked with everything that's going on right now. So proud to be on 1090. But again, make sure you have that Let's Talk Hookup app because that's where Let's Talk Hookup will always be. And it's the only way that you can listen to uh, the archive shows. Well, that's not true. You can listen to archive shows on our YouTube channel yes. and things like that. And you can see the videos, and uh, I I don't think... Facebook archives. I think it's just live. I'm right. Not sure. Um, I don't know enough about that stuff. Yet, <laughs> but I know it's on YouTube. Yeah. So you can actually on you on our YouTube channel, Let's Talk Hook Up Radio Show. You can listen to the audio portion uh, after Adam uploads it. Um, you can li- so you can download it and listen to your car and stuff like yeah. that when you're going to work and stuff like that. Or you can see the video portion. So there's two different vid- yeah. videos for each show. Yeah. Exactly. Nice. So yeah. so yeah. So multiple ways to hear and see it. What I meant to say was the only way you can text your questions into the show is via that Let's Talk Hook Up app. That has been really popular and a lot of fun. And boy, we're seeing so many texts. And if you want to participate and you want to send us a text, make sure to get that Let's Talk Hook Up app. And when you do send your text in, also make sure you include your contact info. A name and a phone number is all we need because if you're the big winner at the end of the show, we want to make sure to get you your prize. And man, do you want to win today's prize. (laughs) So one lucky caller or texter, and that's going to be determined with a coin flip at the end of the show, is going to win a $100 gift card to Fisherman's Landing Tackle. So you're going to get to come in and do the full shopping spree. 100 bucks is coming your way yeah. at the end of today's show. Again, if you want to get us on the phones, that's 213-432-1090, or you send those texts to the Let's Talk I Got app, and when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls, reading your texts, catch reports, and a whole lot of great info with Doug. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio Network. During Yamaha's Summer Sunset Sales Event, get up to five years warranty coverage on a boat package with eligible new 30 to 300 horsepower outboards. Make that six years with a Siren 3 Pro package. Or get up to seven years on a boat package with eligible 425 horsepower outboards. Purchase an eligible 2.5 to 25 horsepower model and receive up to a $300 dealer credit. Visit your Yamaha dealer today. Current September 8th, subjects change. Other restrictions Conditions apply. Select models exclude 24 month Yamaha extended service added to factory. Limited warranty. Choice offered to Florida residents is a 24 month limited warranty. See authorized participating Yamaha outboard dealers for details. Cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. Give your boat the love it deserves and install a custom Sea Deck kit from Blue Seas Fabrication. Blue Seas is the West Coast only certified Sea Deck fabricator and installer. Sea Deck upgrades the look and feel of any boat, old or new. Sea Deck non skid decking adds comfort, convenience, safety, and value. Let the experts from Blue Seas fabrication custom fit your deck bridge and interiors with stylish durable stain resistant and easy to clean sea deck check blue seas fabrication.com and enhance your fishing experience for your next fishing adventure, check Point Loma Sport Fishing. They offer half-day and full-day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit PointLomaSportFishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available or call 619-223-1627. Want to go fishing? Point Loma Sport Fishing has you covered. Fuck up! 
Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup again. What a great show today is going to be having Doug from Fisherman's Landing Tackle in here. And one more time, if you want to get through, it's going to be a busy morning. 213-432-1090 or again, send those texts to the Let's Talk Hookup app. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing talking tackle and lots of lots of great texts. And here's a, a unique one uh, that's coming, in, oh, of course, only on the Let's Talk Hookup app. Can you text us? Uh, but... Uh, Tom from Rancho Cucamamba says he's on a 10-day on the Spirit Adventure right now. Nice. Nice Starlink uh, oh link gosh. there. And he says, what lure do you recommend to troll for Wahoo? Um, we've, we've gotten in some new jigs recently. Um, and actually some that had been out have been modified. <coughs> Excuse me. But... Uh, you know that so we kind of had shifted over to that nomad um the 20 uh the 200 and the the 240 um and uh there were some issues with that 220 220 220 i knew that was wrong yeah. <laughs> the 200 and 220 yeah. um and uh you know they had some issues with those um the you know the hooks weren't holding the wahoo quite as well as we would have liked um every once in a while the bill would break and the lure would fill up with water. So they've come out with a heavy duty, and they put this lure in a testing tank under pressure at 1,300 feet and couldn't crack it. It's got a whole um, new ribbing uh, system inside the jig that you can't see once they paint it. But So that's a, that's an A-plus that will get the boat stopped. And then Mag Bay Lures has come up with some really nice... Uh, Hot kind of high speed trolling jigs that also, by the way, will work for bluefin. Um, you know, the whole Mad Mac craze. Um, and they've got two of them out now. They're, they're a hundred bucks a piece. But, you know, considering that you're spending all this money, all this time to go on a trip, if you want to stop the boat, um, it's just not that much money compared to, to everything else that you're doing with your tackle and your trip and tips and fish processing and all that kind of thing and it's well worth having maybe at least one of those so it's like a it's very reminiscent of the old marauder like this that thing is heavy duty you it know, is like, i i i have a such a love hate relationship with those nomads uh, I'm, I'm excited about the hd because that's going to give us the opportunity <laughs> hopefully it's some longevity but like i was frustrated with the regular dtx's because man they get bit so good that you can't deny it you, you gotta have it. you have to bring one but it, it was 59 bucks yeah. that you were going to have to throw away yeah and so and you had an old marauder yes some, some of those things would last you 20 years well yeah and never stop working and you know i mean i hate to say it but the original marauder had a 30-year run it was a standard issue everybody knew black and orange black and purple you know the dorado and tony tiger and all those things um those things stopped every long range boat all through the 80s the 90s and the 2000s and then just the way things happen factories you know behind the scenes that we don't know what's going on you know they either don't exist anymore and you have to resource the same item and um those bonita jigs did not stop the boat as well and we finally had to admit that we can't you know we can't be selling these to people because it yeah. doesn't stop the boat um so that's kind of when the dtx minnow came out and that 200 was the one and everybody was you know private boats down there too they, they said you know i i have to have these yeah, i have to have stops the boat and we need something that will troll and catch a wahoo at, at you know 10 knots or less and so a lot of these high speed trolling jigs would definitely catch wahoo but you got to go 12 to 15 knots so Anyway, um, those would be the two that I would recommend: DTX Minnow, um, and then the Mad Mac. I mean the uh, um, Mag Bay Lures, and they have two different put-ups of that. Um, we just got the the latest one, so when you come into the shop, we can show you those. But but he's um, going to be on a ten day, so he can't come in the shop till after he comes back. No, so. but there's other hopefully people he listening. has them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that are going on ten days because yeah. this is a ten day season coming up here. Right. Yeah. So absolutely, but uh, so yeah. have a great trip though on the spirit of yeah, adventure. Yeah. When I sure. answer questions, I'm also spewing to the general audience. Of course you and are. And answering the specific but, but questions. That's what, everybody wants to know about Wahoo jigs, right? Everybody. At this time of the year, and, and this is... This I think is a, uh, the Royal Players called in yesterday morning. That, you know, they had a dozen in the morning. I don't know how they ended up, but Frank thought they might end up with 25 or 30. And So it's it's just the leading edge of what's going to be the Wahoo season. But September, October, 
you know, that's when you get those those monster counts, especially if you hit a place where that hasn't been hit yet, and you yeah, you, know, you start getting your hundred plus counts for sure. All right, hey, let's jump into the phones. You want to get through two one three four three two ten ninety. Chris is standing by to take your calls. John and Escondido, you're getting us started this morning on the phones. Good morning, buddy. Thanks for giving us a phone call. Hey, no problem, guys. It, uh, you know, I got to stop by and uh, see you guys on Thursday. Uh, you were kind enough to uh, uh, put some wine on a reel that I won on Reel of the Week, which was, uh, you know, uh, enjoyable. Um, nice. But saw you guys busy, you. Busy, busy, busy as always, and you know, you don't all, you don't just sell uh, the equipment and put lines on reels. You know, you got rods, and if there's, there's something that's not in there, right? You'll make it. You made me a nine footer, uh, that I got to fish with on an eight day in June, which was just badass. Uh, you've, uh, made me some, uh, you know, jigging rods, uh, one I bought off the shelf that you, you adjusted and then made, then, then made me another one just like it. Um, so I can't say enough. And, uh, that tracks 500 because I, uh, you know, you guys can't even keep on the shelf, you know? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's an awesome reel and, uh, and everything. Yes, but is. my question for you, Doug, is when is tackle day? Yeah, good question because thinking about tackle day this morning, to, like that's coming. It's hard yeah. to imagine, but we're going into September next week, and um, tackle day historically, and um, I'm going to have to look because I think this is number twenty. Uh, it's always the first Saturday in November. It's November second, and the same routine as always. Um, we're going to you know open up the outside. Uh, manufacturers booths and our outside tackle booth at nine the store opens at six in the morning uh the outside will shut down at three the tackle store will shut down at six uh we'll have the shimano casting contest um and that is lots all, of vendors uh, yeah 20 to 25 vendors um i've already sent out the save the dates and i've gotten it, it was kind of amazing how fast the world works now but i sent out you know, 25 save the dates, and my email started blowing up. <laughs> Just, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> so it sounds like everybody's in again. Um, we'll have some great seminar speakers. Um, we used to have a lot of seminars on our boats. They'd be mini seminars. And so we'd have three boats lined up out there. So we'd have the main stage on land. So you'd have four seminars going on at the same time. And, and oh darn, you know, the bluefin decided to bite through <laughs> November and into December. So we don't have any boats to have seminars on. So the seminars became a little bit less of, um, part of the day. But that lets us get, you know, some super A plus speakers on our main stage. And we've had some phenomenal speakers, um, that, you know, it's hard when you have four seminars at the same time. Well, which one do I go to? Because you've got, you know, good speakers spread around. Now everybody can go to the seminar, each of the three seminars. So, yeah, that's, um, it's one of our favorite days of the year. It's, um, uh, it's the one <laughs> time of the year that we get really stupid because it's the end of the year. We don't want to pay taxes on our inventory. If we, you know, Doug's buying mistakes, um, we're going to have the mystery boxes again. Um, so that's always fun. We, you know, have three different price point levels and, um, we put, uh, various tackle items in there. And, you know, if you spend 50 bucks, you're guaranteed to get like $125 worth of stuff. And we don't put like garbage in there. Um, we put good stuff in there. <laughs> Doug took an idea of this thing of like, oh, you know, we can just reduce some things, and then has gone the opposite and spent all year long like buying killer stuff for mystery box. <laughs> like the idea is, you know, like oh, well, we'll give somebody a good deal on something, and then we'll move something. That, yeah, no, Doug, like all year long, we'll buy these rad things that will sell right this second. You're like, hey man, whatever it might be, this plier, these pliers are killer. Let's put them out. Nah, I'm saving them for the mystery box for tackle days. Well, <laughs> you know, we can sell those right now. Like, yeah, full but, price. Yeah, he's like, yeah, but tackle days are a big day, and it's got to be a big deal. And so, no, we're saving it. Like, there's so much stuff that like we find throughout the year. They're like, oh man. Whatever, these Colt snipers are going to go killer. Oh, yeah, no, those aren't available. I'm saving them for tackle day. Okay? <laughs> yeah. But, but it's, that's why the day is such a big deal, too, though. Yep. It's not an inventory reduction day where you're just getting rid of the stuff that doesn't move. Like, everything's on sale. It's our biggest event of the year. Yeah, literally everything. And it's, you know, all the first run stuff. And, and, um, you know, we do promotions throughout the year and have pretty much the customary discounts, but we do go above and beyond on tackle day. 
Yeah, for sure. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. You, you have a great text, I huh? thought so, yeah. It was, uh, it was a great, and kudos where they're due. It says, hey, guys, what a great show so far. I'm so glad you things got yeah, – I'm so glad, Pete, you worked so hard to get things uh, squared out with the show. Um, I, what I'd like to do is give you a report off of my trip on the Pacific Dawn from yesterday. The moon was up, and so was the weather, and Mike and his crew managed to put us on 28 – 100 to 170 pound um, bluefin tunas. How about that, dude? 28 over, uh, 28 between 100 and 170 pounds. Holy mackerel. He said 25 of those came from the kite in a difficult time of day when nothing else was working. The crew worked absolutely tirelessly making sure everybody got bit, and most of us all had our first or personal best bluefin tunas. I can't begin to thank Mike and his crew and Fisherman's Landing enough for making it all happen. What a top notch experience best I've ever had. Kurt and Vista. That guy is. That was a great fishy. text. He is so fishy that, uh, you know, you just we we always call it the sixth sense, and um, he's got it, and he doesn't give up. Um, he, you know, he had to get rained back a while back for coming in like eight hours late because ah. he wanted to catch fish for the people. So I mean, that's what you want somebody that's that gung ho. Yeah, for sure. The other boat that's been getting the, the tomahawk, right? Yep. Dave? Um, right? Dave is on fire. Yeah, he is on. He's fire. sort of emerged as one of those guys. You know, he's a little bit maybe soft spoken. But everybody that gets off that boat says he is the the nicest guy. He works so hard. Uh, yes, he he's very fishy. He catches a lot of fish. Um, and uh, so nothing but good things to say about Tomahawk. Yeah, yep. yeah and, and uh, thanks to Doug, we've arranged to have him come in mid-season next September, mid yep. uh, like September 15th, oh, cool. I believe. Yeah, he's going like, to come on the 15th. Come on the 15th his and uh, own, be here in the in the world headquarters. Yeah, his only day is Sunday because obviously they're always fishing on Saturday. <laughs> but yeah. um, you know he makes it a point to get in by the 6 o'clock so he can get over here by 7. That's so, right. Yeah. Cool. All right. We, we jokingly call, you know, like the, the old term for the guys that used to leave super late in the old days, you know, you'd always hear that moniker for a, a boat captain. Oh, there goes Captain Midnight, you know, always been late. And uh, we jokingly call Mike Laos Captain, uh, Captain Noon. You Captain know, Captain Noon. <laughs> the boat's supposed to be in at 530 in the morning, but he just can't. Can't he's stop. Just gotta, <laughs> just got he's got to gotta get one he's more. Got a twitch in him that just doesn't allow. It's like, for no. God's sakes, man. There's like, still fish here. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go home. Some people yeah. got it bad, man. That's cool. That's got the kind of guy you you want to That's go fishing right. with. Yes. Yeah. Jim and Thousand Palms asked, how's the inventory of Calstar Graph Riders, our favorite rod there? Yep. Um, so as everybody knows, um, when COVID hit, um, there was a slowdown and a stoppage of supply chain. Uh, I, I counted uh, every day on my app. I would count how many tanker, I mean, uh, cargo ships there were off Long Beach. And it got up to over 120, and it was just everybody's merchandise sitting out there because they had shutdowns with the the dock workers and you know COVID outbreaks, and and so the supply chain just went dormant. And and um, over in Asia, the same thing, um, they would just shut everything down for you know weeks at a time. So um, and then the other thing was a lot of the employees that were employed at all these businesses just went away they just that was it they were yeah. done you know they were retired if they were a little older they went off and did something else um so calstar like a lot of people was almost impossible to get so we had at any given time a thousand rods on order and they would come in one two four six at a time for about a three-year period so we did have a little bit to sell. We didn't know what it was going to be. You'd look at the date on the purchase order, and it would be, you know, September of 2020. And here it is, you know, 2022, 2023. They'd be two and three years behind. Um, but amazingly, Calstar, and thank God, they hung in there. Their quality literally never wavered. Um, not, not a bit. No. And, you, you know, they did have some... Pete, new people in there, but the key people that designed the blanks, that did the the important work, splining the rods and so forth, they hung in there and and um, were committed to Calstar. And so, over this last year, um, it's gotten caught up to where we definitely have pretty much everything again. Wow! Um, and including backstock, and you know. 
everybody knows we went through that that little inflation period that um, was a little bit shocking on certain items, and fishing tackle was no different. And we thought, you know, I hope people are going to buy CalStars at this, you know, new price. And nobody has missed a beat. Um, you know, there you can buy. Everybody wants to pay for the best. Yes, you can buy. I, I mean, I, I sold one to a guy yesterday. He said, "No, I want CalStar." And I said, "Okay, let me show you." You know some options, and you know rods are, you know, used to be for the old fiberglass rods, ninety nine ninety five, you know, one forty nine ninety five, and then they kept elevating, and then graphite, and pretty soon it got up to oh my god, three hundred bucks, and you know you're going to spend five, six, even eight hundred bucks on a, a nice rail rod, um, but if, you know if you want the best, they they really are um, hard to beat. They state of the art, as they say. You know, right? Leon sprang out of saber. They used our fleet as the testing grounds and um, their research and development and, you know, the long-range fleet in particular, and and those rods had to hold up to that level of of abuse. And it's just amazing that a rod can handle that kind of abuse. I mean, look what we're doing, laying these things on the rail with a 200-pound tuna attached, and, and it's completely bent over, and... You know, it's, I guess it's like archery or something. I mean, how do those bows just not snap? But somehow they've engineered it in and, and genius level, and, and they are the best. My favorite rod in my quiver yep. is a Calstar 800 XL that Leon built for me decades right? ago. And it's still yes. with a with a, 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 a Trinidad, uh, I believe, a uh, what's probably a, a 14. 14 like, probably, yeah, yeah, probably a 14, maybe yeah. A maybe, like a, yeah. No, smaller. The 12. Yeah, the, the 12, yeah. Okay. The 12. The so little narrow that, guy. The little narrow guy, yeah. yeah. With that thing on there, it is just a fish-killing machine. <laughs> and it's it fun just, because it's and, a and that rod, but, the, but, but, but I say that because the durability of that oh rod God. is right. just unbelievable. Yes. I mean, I've caught hundreds and hundreds of fish over decades yes. right? so that's your cork, on that fish. Your cork handle. The cork handle one. I know, I know that right. one. Yeah. yeah. You're not kidding. That thing literally is decades old. Yeah. You're right. And still, and still your Leon favorite. built you know a custom yeah. for me. Yeah. That's, yep. so, that's yeah, cool, that's, yeah. that's way but, cool. Hey, let's jump into the phone. Hey, you got it. How about this time? We talked to Hills, and Hills is calling us from Ventura this morning. Hills, thanks for hanging in there with us. Good morning. Um, My question is my buddy, real close buddy just got a... Uh, uh, surface iron, um, Calstar surface iron rod, and he's got, called me as if I would know. Uh, hey, what's the best <laughs> reel to put on this? <laughs> and uh, so I'm asking the guys that know, ask Doug, is, is that uh, he was saying Calcutta, and I said, I think you want a Trinidad, bro. And um, yeah, there's, <clears throat> what's I mean, the if scoop? You want, if you want the best of the best, there's two that come to mind Trinidad 20. Is the quintessential surface iron reel. It's the same width as its height. Um, it'll hold plenty of line, um, and normally we back it up with uh, with braided line, and then put a hundred to 125 yard 40 pound test triple X uh, Iser line over the top to cast with. But Preach. some guys, yeah. <laughs> some guys will um, go, you know, straight spectra. But um, I think you rip the hooks out of their mouth a lot of times, and then. The, the Tranks 500, um, that's the most user-friendly reel. Uh, holds a tad less line, but still more than enough. I mean, if you have, uh, if you're yellowtail fishing and you're nearing structure, you know he's going to get in the rocks in, in you know 25 yards anyway. So line capacity is not the big thing with yellowtail. And um, so when you cast out, you have uh, breaks that you can adjust to your casting style so that you're just on the verge of a backlash, but it doesn't backlash. And um, those that don't want any uh, resistance at all, you can take the brakes off. It's real easy to do. Um, when you when your jig hits the water, you turn the handle and it clicks itself into gear. Another advantage because you're paying attention to the birds and the boil and you know that that motion of reaching over with your left hand and clicking it into gear. You don't have to do that anymore. And then uh, when you're winding the jig, this is the most important thing. You have to level wind your line or you're going to get a backlash on the next cast. It has a level wind. And the level wind isn't like a, a bass reel level wind that blows up. You, you, there have been 100-pound tuna numerous times caught on this reel. So Ricky, you caught a 200-pounder on it, did. right? Almost. One, oh. uh, I got a, a 180, 189. Oh, close enough. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, it's, a, <laughs> it, it's a little one. No, yeah. I'm not trying to say that, but no. I'm, I'm also not taking credit so that, for it. Yeah, yeah that, yes. that's yes changed the, the, the surface iron game yep. for sure. It's so – you said the most – 
the dead on or it's so user friendly. It is. Anybody can pick up that reel. Like Pete could have his dialed on, one break, you know, professional guy, casts it all the time, knows exactly what he's doing. And somebody could step on the boat who's a guest who's never fished it before, open up that side plate with one motion, change your casting brakes, put the brakes on, and just as long as somebody has the you know the concept of how a conventional reel works, thumb on, thumb off, you turn all those brakes on, they're gonna they're not gonna backlash that reel. Nope. And and you know not everybody wants to or can spend five or six hundred dollars on a reel, which is what those reels cost. Um, so there are other options. Um, the uh, um, Torium Twenty is basically a Trinidad Twenty with you know the frame is not cold forged. Uh, you know which for a bigger fish is going to make a, a bigger deal. Uh, for a yellowtail, you're not going to really notice that. The castability is the same. The, the cranking power is nearly the same. The drags are nearly the same. And it's in that 250 bucks. range. It's like range. half the price. So, yeah. so it, you know, if, if you've got to be a little bit more budget-minded, I mean, let's face it, we all do, um, that's a great option as well. All right, man. Talk about couldn't say it better, man. We, just a little taste of the info that this guy has next to us, Doug. It's going to be a great show. So much information coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. The fish are biting, and it's time to go. Yeah. Hi, this I is Beth, you. and you will see me at my dad's shop, Dana Landing, in Mission Bay. Or maybe in front of the shop on my kayak. It doesn't matter if you are out there on a kayak with me, on your boat, headed out on a sport boat. Dana Landing has everything you need. We call it the one-stop shop for a great day on the water, because it truly is. Food, bait, tackle, beverages, and more. Our tackle shop, headed by John, is certainly one of the best. For freshwater tackle, nothing beats East County Bait and Tackle. These guys have the best rods and reels and the hottest lures and live bait. Our newest shop is Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle with a great stock of both fresh and saltwater tackle right in the heart of Lemon Grove. ECBT is at the end of the 67 freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle, 94 to Broadway in Lemon Grove and Dana Landing is next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay. Check out DanaLanding.com for more details. Hey, it's time to talk about great gear from Shimano. We were just talking about it, the Talica A series. Now expanded, right, Doug? Yep. So, uh, you know, they did the uh, 12 and 16 last year. Um, so they've changed the frame so that both side plates are the same diameter. Um, the drag system has been greatly upgraded. Uh, so Rick was f- filling me in and, and making sure that I had my, my facts straight. But it's uh, got two drag washers now that get um, pinched from both sides, not just coming from one side. It's a much more effective drag system. Um, uh, I know there's more. The biggest so thing much. for me is that the new low gear, and I thought that oh, was such yes, a great right. thing. Like there is, on the twenty and twenty five. Yeah, there was yeah. a ton of power out of that reel before. We we discussed it a lot with Eric and Cal on there that that you know I I never felt that reel was lacking. But a big thing that some guys wanted for extra power, killing two hundred pounders, was a lower low gear, and now. They changed that from it's the even factory. lower it than comes, it was. It comes with a lower low gear. Uh, handle design is different. It's just, I love the reel. I think they killed it. They yep, they the Talica 20 and 25A now at your local Shimano dealer. Hey, San Diego, the Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. Visit your San Diego County Ford dealer now through September and make it your best summer yet. Get great offers on the most popular Ford trucks and SUVs and experience hands-free highway driving technology with Ford Blue Cruise, available on select vehicles. It's the Make It Ford Summer Sales Event, and that means now is the best time to get behind the wheel of your brand new Ford and drive it home today. Only at your San Diego County Ford dealers, they'll be glad to hook you up. Give your boat the love it deserves and install a custom Sea Deck kit from Blue Seas Fabrication. Blue Seas is the West Coast's only certified Sea Deck fabricator and installer. Sea Deck upgrades the look and feel of any boat, old or new. Sea Deck non-skid decking adds comfort, convenience, safety, and value. Let the experts from Blue Seas Fabrication custom fit your deck, bridge, and interiors with stylish, durable, stain-resistant, and easy-to-clean Sea Deck. Check BlueSeasFabrication.com and enhance your fishing experience. Welcome! Welcome back to Let's Talk Cook Up. Having a great time here this morning talking tackle with Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle and giving away an amazing prize. Yeah. But you didn't catch the beginning of the show. One lucky caller or texter is going to have a $100 gift card to the tackle shop. Yeah, and we always say it. Um, 
we get a lot of texts, like a hundred texts. <laughs> and, you know, we don't get as many phone calls. And so your opportunity is so much greater by calling in at 213-432-1090 and asking a question. Besides, that's part, what's part of Let's All Cook Up is you're the stars, yeah, right? Our, our, our callers, our guests are the stars and you as a caller need to be the star. Of course, we love our texters. And, uh, if you don't want to call, you don't have the time to call, you're welcome to text and we'll, we'll get to that. But, uh, um, adding that into our new uh, live Facebook Live as well as YouTube Live. And by the way, uh, I just want to go over the different ways that you can grab Let's Talk Hookup now. So we're still on 1090 AM and want to thank the great guys down in Baja for keeping us on the air there. We, of course, are always on our Let's Talk Hookup app and, of course, our archives. Uh, you, of course, stream on our Let's Talk Hookup uh, uh, website, Let's Talk Hookup.com. And now you can watch us live on YouTube on Let's Let's Talk Hookup Radio Show on YouTube and Let's Talk Hookup Radio Show on Facebook. So you can watch all three. You can actually see us, why we have faces for radio <laughs> um, on, on those. And then, of course, we have the new big screen. Uh, hopefully, coming next week, we will have the outdoor shot. That's, That's my cool. goal, where you can watch the boats coming in to yeah. Fisherman's Landing on on uh, on the big screen. Well, now you can at least see me get distracted every 15 minutes when we're sitting here talking <laughs> about one thing, and then all yeah. of a sudden, next thing you know, the show gun's going by. I know yeah. we're yeah, we're hoping to get that done this week, but it didn't work out. We'll have it next That's weekend. Be I, fun. I'm pretty sure about that. I want to go, you know, whenever you book a long range trip or a, a travel trip, they always say, did you buy the trip insurance? And we've been fortunate enough to have one of the great people around, uh, Christy and Bob from Dawson Insurance, yeah. associated not only with the Long Range Boats, but with Let's Talk Hookup for quite a while. And I have a personal story to revert to you about a claim that I just filed. When I went oh, to Queen, yeah. when I went to Queen Charlotte Safaris, um, I, or I was go, supposed to go to Queen Charlotte right. Safaris, and the, S hit the fan, as we say, with uh, <laughs> the failure of uh, the Mightier 1090. Um, uh, I couldn't go. Yeah, right. And I was out $750 for an airline ticket to uh, Vancouver. And... And, uh, and so I have trip insurance through Dawson Insurance. And so I asked Christy, I said, is this valid claim that I had a catastrophic problem with my business? She said, absolutely. Let's file it. I already got paid. Hey. Wow. I filed and, and, and no it, it's like, like in three weeks. Yeah. I filed the claim, gave them all the regular documentations, and I got my 750 bucks back. How about that? That's pretty I mean, cool. that pretty <laughs> much pays for my travel insurance. Like, and then exactly. extrapolate that out to like a three week trip overseas right. to you know some okay. exotic destination yeah. that's thousands of dollars yeah you know that I happens mean, I, I mean had valerie not you know refunded what i had which she she did but well actually i get to go for free because we host the trip to be honest with you so i didn't have to pay that part but had i had to pay the five thousand dollars that would have come back. And, so. and just as important, Valerie wouldn't have been out either. You know what I mean? You're not yeah. like, same thing with a long range trip. You're not, the boat's not stressing having to lose out on that. You're not stressing out right. having to lose on that. Everybody wins. Yeah. So, Dawson Insurance. Yes. Get that travel insurance. It's cheap. And it's good, and it, and it, and you, and you know how most insurance you always think, ah, it's not going to work. I'm not going to get it back. They did it. That's awesome. Well, yeah, I, I, love I can tell that. you at the landing. And the tackle store, we use them for our insurance needs, and they are fantastic. They're not some giant corporation that you're going to get an AI phone call answered. That, you know that your call is very important to you. You're going to get taken care of by somebody that actually cares. Yeah, Dr. Bob or Christy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Sweet. That's a great. Yeah. Story. Well, Bob's gone fishing now. That's true. So you mostly yeah. talk yeah. to Christy he and her fishing. associates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's his new email. Bob's gone fishing. I love oh, that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Let's great. jump into the phone. You Rick. got it, man. Well, how about this time we talk to Dave, and Dave's calling us from Anza this morning. Hi, Dave. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey, good morning, everybody. Enjoying the show. And uh, Doug, I always enjoy when you're on there. You're such a wealth of knowledge for us. And um, actually, Dave and Anthony is Dave in the High Sierras right now. We've been up here nice. in the Eastern Sierra. Yeah, at uh, Convict Lake. Just wanted to give you a field report here. Um, things have been really nice up here. Um, fishing's good. They've been stocking the lakes a whole lot better than they have in the past few seasons. So fishing part has been good. Did some hikes up into the high country, caught my first ever golden trout, which was kind of nice. nice. And um, all, 
all in all, just we got such a gem in our own backyard right here, you know. And um, one thing I've seen a lot of up here, for sure a lot of Hobie kayaks on the lake that I've seen adventures oh, and camping oh, set up in the campgrounds, too. That's cool. Yeah, well, between inflatables and the regular ones, the, the links and all, all the different things that they have. We're going to hear later in the show today about a big sale that they're having over hey. fast lanes. So Ron's <laughs> going to join us, and it's, you know, Toby's don't go on sale, so tune in wow. later in the show. We're going to hear Sweet. more about that. It's, it's a big one for sure. Hey, Dave, uh, are you catching any? So you did catch a golden trout, huh? Of course, I did a release on it, but it's like. Yeah, yeah, no. but um, you know, I did a release on it, and my first ever golden. All right, well, congratulations, Congrats, and uh, thanks for the call this morning. Appreciate that. Hey, Doug, you have been watching like I have, and like Ricky has been watching Michael Folks's history of sport fishing. <clears throat> well, uh, and yes. What do you think? Um, there's no way that I am articulate enough to tell you. Um, how amazing it actually is. Yeah. Um, how did he get all that <clears throat> stuff? Oh, dude. Oh, archive well, footage it's, and stuff. It's, it's just unbelievable. You know, he, he's got a lifetime in sport fishing. Yeah. It's been his passion. Um, he's a historian, you know, the tuna club and all that kind of stuff. Right. He's um, been a collector so of antique tackle for decades. So it's what he enjoys doing. He's also a, a brilliant filmmaker. He knows how to tell a story through film. And he did, you know, all the videos on the long-range boats and all through the 80s and 90s. And, you know, they were on VHS and then DVD and then finally, you know, um, the modern age. But um, I... I can't tell you the feeling you get watching this if, you know, I mean, I started fishing when I was a little kid, three years old, and, and there's a lot of people out there the same way, but there's people that got into the sport this year. And it gives, it weaves, like, all the history from around the world, but a lot of focus on Catalina and the Southern California yeah. Bight, but then what was going on at the same time, like, on the East Coast, and then, you know, more exotic places, um, th- where discoveries were being made, and I mean the famous people that got into fishing, you know er- Ernest Hemingway, Zane Gray, presidents, um, uh, you know, um, lots mo- of movie right. stars. I mean, and and it, um, I find myself just like drawn into it and like captivated. So you know, you, when you watch an episode, you need to make sure that you have. The ability to watch it all the way through. You can't have a bunch of noise, in, you know, in the background. If you can just like that late night, you know, whatever. Or what's perfect is if you download it and watch it on the airplane, where you can really watch. Well, actually, it. you can't download it. Oh, you have to live stream it. Oh, you do. Yeah. Okay, but what, so if can you live stream it on an airplane if you buy the if um, you buy the Wi-Fi? Yeah. yeah. So sure. But you know that'd be the perfect place to yeah. watch it. And, Good um, idea. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. I know it's going to be the, the – I'm only up through episode five. I got all 12 episodes. And then with the 12 episodes, there's a bunch of all the old videos. The UA, you buy the bonus package, yeah. right? So, so yeah. So <laughs> the the history of sportfishing.com, trust us, it's worth the forty nine ninety five investment and even more, the seventy nine yeah. ninety five for the bonus bo- yeah, package. Yeah, I mean, you can buy one episode at a time. Yeah. And, and not only – I'm going to say this, too. This was – Michael's life work. It is. And yeah. and it's support him because it is a labor of love for him. He put his heart and soul into this and he needs our support. So buy that I mean, history it, of Well, he fishing. gave us something that I mean, this information and knowledge was going to go away. All right. that footage oh, was going to it, it was deteriorating yeah. physically to where you, it would never be available again. He converted it all into, you know, digital where you can It'll be there for people to see for generations to come. And this is the kind of thing I know for sure. I'm going to watch this multiple times. There's no way you can soak it all in on the first watch. No way. But I just... I'm just in awe of it. And you own it for a year when you buy it. Yeah. Yep. It's not like a Amazon video where it goes away in five days. You own it for a year yep. Yep. On, yeah, you, on that. So. You don't have to worry about, you know, okay, I rented it this day. I've got to watch it in 48 yeah, hours no. or I'm out. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah Go back, sure. watch it 100 times if you want. So Michael's not paying us a penny for no, this promotion. No, no, All right, no. we're just doing this <laughs> from just the heart yeah. for him. And, he, and yeah. I mean, he did it for us. You know, that's how I feel. Like, uh, this is our yeah. sport and our world and our everything, yeah. and I, I, I love it. It's yeah, awesome. For sure. Hey, Stephen Fall. 
Albrecht writes, good morning, everybody. Love the YouTube feed. Well, thank you for <laughs> that. Appreciate that. Besides the two-speed reels, fluorocarbon, what do you regard, Doug, as the most game-changing product and technique to come along in recent times? Well, it depends on what you define by recent, but now that I'm watching the history of sport fishing, <laughs> my 42-year career is recent. And um, the things that I've seen, yes, two-speed reels and Spectra was the turning point of everything <coughs> for techniques and for tackle. It allowed us to use much smaller reels, which meant we could present a bait better, we could cast a jig better. You cannot cast a Colt Sniper on a 50-wide but you can certainly cast it on a Talica. So those two things were, that was kind of the, the pivot point of when everything changed. Um, you know, we would go down on a long range trip and you'd have your 9 0 and then, you know, maybe a 50 wide and then maybe, you know, but that was a single speed reel and you had only monofilament line. So a 50 wide would hold. 500 yards of 80 pound and your maxima that's what you had and so you'd hook finally your fish of a lifetime and the first thing that happens is it's spool you so they yeah. get the next outfit and maybe it's another 50 wide right. they clip it on button the drag and throw it over so now you know it takes another 500 yards they sometimes had three you know three outfits going and they'd finally say you know they'd say oh we got color on the you know on the second outfit on the second outfit um, so so you're thinking spectra so spectra and two speeds in conjunction with each other changed everything everything and that and we take it so for granted now so right. we go out there and catch a 200 pound tune on what used to be a four out reel All right and, and I remember too like when two speeds were first a thing you would say like oh you need that for your your hundred pound outfit, but anything anything lesser than that, there's no reason. Right. You know, single speed for sure, you're fine. Like no reason for anything. And then that became well, you're you're eighty pound, and and you know you'd want that. And then it was well sixty pound. Like boy, now uh, we you hardly sell a, a thirty or forty pound live bait reel that doesn't have a two speed. Right. It's you know, and, and in the very beginning, it's like well, you fish a star drag because it casts, or you fish a two speed because they pull on fish. But you know those things don't cast very good. And now a Talica. But I sold a guy it, yesterday a Talica ten for this fishing we're doing out on the tan. Uh, you know, he wanted a 30-pound outfit, and I showed him the star drags, and, I, and we explained and talked about the differences. But that Talica 10 will throw a sardine oh, basically the same as a, a star drag reel. And then, you, you know, you think, well, 30-pound test. Well, you, you can put 12 or 15 pounds of drag on that. Sometime take a spring scale, put 13 pounds of drag on your reel and pull it out, and you're going to find out how too light you've been setting your drags you've got to take wrap your hand around it hold on to the reel tight and and it's tough to pull the line off totally hey when we come like couldn't couldn't say that better myself when we come back we got a lot more let's talk hookup coming your way more of your phone calls more texts we're going to check in with the catch report find out what's biting and i'm sure it's going to be a good one you're listening to let's talk hook up on the let's talk hook up app and radio network Hey everyone, James Holst here with Norse Lithium, the official battery partner of Let's Talk Hookup. Here at Norse Lithium, we have two goals that drive who we are and what we do. The first is to make the highest quality, longest lasting lithium batteries available with a complete lineup of batteries that include 12, 24, 36 volt, and starting batteries. Second, in addition to offering a 10 year warranty on all Norse Lithium marine batteries, we provide amazing customer service before and after the sale. Check us out online at norsklithium.com that's n-o-r-s-k lithium.com or call us at 831-232-9063 or to see Norse Lithium batteries in person stop by the Trolling Motor Doctor in Lakewood or Anglers Marine in Anaheim and see why Norse Lithium batteries should be in your boat no matter where the adventure takes you we've got you powered Norse Lithium Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. 
This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long range fishing experience. Spring 8 day, summer 5 day, or a fly down fly back 11 day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top of the line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. Captain Jamie Tennis from Season Sport Fishing here. For the past few seasons, a dart-styled metal jig has come into play in a big way for tuna offshore or even rockfish down deep. AFCO's crossbreed jig has quickly become the go-to for many since it came onto the market. AFCO's crossbreed jig is good to go right out of the package with a 4X treble hook, heavy-duty split rings, West Coast colors, and sizes 60 gram to 120 gram. Pick one up today at your local tackle store or learn more on AFCO.com. Inside information is everything when it comes to catching fish in Southern California. You need a code group to connect with what's happening on the water. Fishdope.com is your code group. Inside information available at your fingertips seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. They become your code group. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Catin, 365 days a year. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, temperature and chlorophyll charts, hot bite icons, and more. Take it from me, if you don't have Fishdope.com, you're not part of the -the in-the-know crowd. Membership is affordable and good for an entire year. Plus, use the special code and save $30 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. 